And that's why you notice that sometimes our brothers in other schools tell us, you the Shia of Al Muhammad do not pray your prayers properly. We say to them, why? They say, because Salah, the Quran says, and the Salah kanat ala al-mu'minina kitaban mawquta. Salah has been put at times. You have to separate your Salah. You Shia combine your Salah. We reply by saying, number one, there isn't a single verse in the Quran which says there are five times which you pray in the day. There are three periods which you pray in the Quran. Three periods, what are they? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Aqim as-salata li juluk al-shams ila ghasaq al-layl wa Quran al-fajr. You have the idea of sun set and you have the idea of what? Of dhuhr and the idea of fajr. Three periods. Likewise, you find Rasulullah. Some people ask, did Rasulullah pray fajr? Dhuhr, then Asr later, then Maghrib later, then Asha later. No, Rasulullah, there were times he combined and there were times he separated. There is no harm combining, there's no harm separating. But notice with our brothers in other schools in Islam. Notice with them. They took the harder option, we took the easier option. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? Okay. They took the harder option of praying five completely separate. We took the easier option. But mashaAllah, look at the way they look after their five and look at the way we look after our three. Sometimes with us, Allah, when He's given us the option of Dhuhr and Asr combination, we still pray it late, whereas our brothers pray Dhuhr on time and Asr on time. When you see our brothers and they say that Salah is the highlight of their day, they are giving you a concept that while our Salah revolves around our day, their day revolves around their Salah. Difference in mentality. Our salah revolves around our day. What does that mean? That means if I've got a job, uh, if I've got a meeting at 1.30, salah can wait till 2.30. With them, if I have a meeting at 1.30, I'll postpone it because salah comes first. <laughs>